Pearl Tutorial Part 64 Benchmark Your Code Now we can time our code execution by using the benchmark module so use benchmark Let's say we have a little while loop and we're going to loop around it 50 million times and we want to time how long this takes so let's create a variable start equals new benchmark now after our loop is finished we can create a new benchmark called finish And now we need to find out our time difference. So let's create a variable time diff equals function time diff. And we have our start and finish variables. And then we can print out our time print loop time time string function our time difference Now we're ready to run our script. So run this in command prompt mode. And it took six wall clock seconds. And there's also some information user system CPU if we want to get our value in microseconds we can paste in hires wall clock here let's run this again five point five seven eight one three wall clock seconds now next I'd like to show you how we can execute a piece of code for a number of seconds and count how many times it executes in those seconds so time this Now let's run our code for 10 seconds and we put our code between the quotation marks so let's create count equals say a thousand while count greater than zero count minus minus like so so this code here will run for 10 seconds and time this will tell us how many times it can execute the code in 10 seconds so save this and run this
Okay, time this for 10 seconds. Probably closer to 11 seconds. That's why it says 11 seconds. And it executed the code 93,308 times. Now I'd like to show you how we can test methods of doing the same thing and see which one is the fastest. So we can go time these let's do this 20 million times I'm gonna just do a very simple piece of code So we put it into a hash, so let's just call each of our three methods, method 1, method 2, method 3. like so and then we put each of our pieces of code between the quotations so let's do something very simple in, in a normal case you'd have something a bit more complex than this and we include the colons so we're just gonna make three different ways to create the number two, so so now when we run this code, it will do each of these things twenty million times and time each one and give us a printout so let's run this and here comes the information obviously they're very very close but they will vary slightly now let's run it with the micro seconds turned on so I've just added the highest wall clock function up to the benchmark tag up the top of the script and there we can see the various timings of method 1, 2 and 3 varying slightly okay so now finally copy this down and we can use the, the compare these function to do the same thing but get possibly better readout so change that to CMP we need to use benchmark QW all let's save this and let's run this again and here it pr prints out a little graph and it rates them in order so that's how to benchmark our code and find best execution times for our scripts